Hello everybody, this is Wisconsin Rail Fan here and today I'm just going to show you guys how to install the ATCS monitor for the Union Pacific Milwaukee area as well as like down by Shermer and you know in the Illinois area too. So anyways, the first thing you got to do is you go to the website which is like ATCS monitor on groups.io which is where they've been moved to and you have to be accepted into the group which I already was with my Facebook account earlier so I just I went created my account logged in with Facebook and it's good for me so in that case then um, if you already have the ATCS monitor itself installed and just need the file then that's what this video is to help you with so what you do then is you would go to ATCS monitor groups that go to files data files look scroll down so you find the one that says Union Pacific or just UP and then go over to the Chicago area um, then it's the this is your file right here the UP Metro Chicago combo dot zip and you click it and it should begin downloading once it's downloaded then you should be good to minimize then next you go he over here and you go to the your ETCS monitor application and do yes and you have to run it as administrator otherwise you won't see any of the data and then obviously it's going to tell you you're missing this century gothic or whatever and then that screen is just a default one that always comes up so then what you do is you got to go to actions you go to install the monitoring kit and now this is the part where it's kind of a challenge um, hold on. so right here where it's asking you to do to do the different files you can look and see if it automatically went into the downloads folder but it that pops up but it, I for mine it didn't and for yours it likely won't either so if it doesn't then what you do is you click on the part that says this PC right here and then you look then you go to the one where it says downloads double click it and there it should be right there you, you click it once and it should pop up in this search in this little bar right here then you press open like this then you gotta make sure you uncheck the delete kit after our installation option so that you can um, view it again later on otherwise you have to install it again and make sure you have all the rest of these just checked or whatever and then you press install when you're ready to go and this pops up this is the readme file if you should probably read it it will tell you a whole bunch of different stuff about the feed and how it works and you know all that good stuff then you press ok when it says that it's successful and click ok to start monitoring and you're still not quite done yet though because we still have one more thing we gotta tackle so you exit out of this screen right here real quick because you know it sounds weird I know and then what you gotta do is this right under there right under there under the under file there's this little like folder thing that pops up you gotta click it then what you gotta do is you gotta go scroll go over to the scroll down bar and look for the, a file that's called UP Metro Chicago aggregator and you click that and it should appear down in that in this search bar right down here and then you should click open and now once you've done that now you'll be able to see the data as you can see now the red and green lines appear and it shows where most of the trains are and as well as where they have clearance too um, one part that can be annoying though is the fact that uh, for those of you who are installing this for the Milwaukee area this is your little section that you'd be looking at right here and between St. Francis and Wiscona it is where it works um, at St. Francis you'll see the train being lined off of the Kenosha sub which is right here by the mouse um, and then there's the National Avenue Spur like what goes down to Jones Island where the marsh job comes off this one's where the Cudahy job comes off and then this is the Milwaukee sub right here northbounds get the lineup like this one has right now um, to come through and you see the green clearance and at St. Francis you will also see the red line of the train when it starts to come across um, but then as you proceed this way towards like control point N092 um, only the clear out will show and the train you won't see until it, it's at St. Francis and then the same goes for BJ South and BJ East and Wiscona. Um, you only see 
the clearance for the train so you know if they're lined out or lined into Butler or if they're lined up to use the Y or cool stuff like that and and, and yeah that that's pretty much what it is. I mean, it'll like a clearance would show right at this little at this right here. I'll just do this for example real quick. Right there, there you go. And now you can see like if a train would get lined up off the Adams subdivision towards St. Francis, and that's how you would know. Just take that off now. And just there you go. Now it's back to normal. And yeah, basically, this is it. Uh, and that's basically. All I have to tell you guys, then yeah, this is just your regular screen. Remember, every time you load it up, you have to select that aggregator profile. Up at the top of this right here, it will say UP Metro Chicago aggregator, and that's how you know you're in the right spot. If it doesn't, then you're gonna have to do, um, then you have to go to that little folder thing and switch it to the aggregator. And also, sometimes it really can glitch up at some at certain points. Which is kind of annoying, yeah. And then, so what you can do then is you can hit this little red thing right here, and it'll wipe all the windows clear. And then, if it starts again, you just do it again, and then press. Then it'll then press the stop button, which is this button right here. And then you press the play button again to reconnect back up to the server and restart everything again. Then you can just do Control D for the dispatcher display to pop up and then all your data will reappear and hopefully some of the glitches will be not as bad anymore but that doesn't always work but basically yeah there's that's pretty much the UP Milwaukee Area ATCS and I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope it helps and thanks for watching